Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Today, I am not alone on my channel. I am joined by celebrity makeup god, Aww. Sir John. Hey guys. <laughs> he has done Ashley Graham, he has done Joan Smalls, he has done Priyanka, yeah. and Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce. Oh my God, yeah. I'm gonna be touched by a makeup god today, and Sir John is gonna be doing my makeup. I said, you have full control. If you wanna do, you can rub dirt on my face, you can do whatever <laughs> you want. So today is gonna be all about two artists sharing the love for makeup and yeah. just having fun. We get to know Sir John a little bit better. I got some questions ready oh, for yeah. you. Bring it. Like anything. Okay, cool, anything. Anything I, is good, we love this. I yes. love this girl. I feel like I've known <laughs> Nikki like five years already. I know. Dude, like come on. We're, we're soul sisters. All right, so Nikki, what we're gonna do, so we're gonna start off with a bit of moisturizer. Okay, right? yeah. But you have already a beautiful glow. Your skin looks really luminous, but I think that I'm just gonna go in. I like to prep. I put cream highlighter on. <laughs> I'm using a water-based moisturizer because I don't want to, I want to offer your skin hydration mm -hmm. without any oil. So I saw you say in an interview once mm -hmm. that you put eye cream all over the face. I do and, and you can. You know what? I think that eye cream is also a really good prep for your, everyone loves like matte liquid lipsticks, you uh -huh. know? So matte liquid lipsticks are great, but they do dehydrate you. So if you do um, a eye cream on your lips, because your eyes and your lips are the same kind of skin, it's so thin, it's almost transparent, you know? Yeah. So if you get into a habit of doing that, and then maybe a little chapstick to set it in, it yeah. won't change the texture of your matte lipstick. How did you start? Because I feel like people don't know that. I went to school for art since I was like six years old, you mm -hmm. know? And then I um, I started kind of, I completely went into makeup on accident. It wasn't on purpose. Mm -hmm. So I worked for Mac when I was 19. And while I was in New York, I got fired from Mac at 20 for being late, 22. <laughs> I started to do the windows for Bert, Bertdorf, Goodman, Barney's. And Henry uh, no big deal. Yeah. And but on accident, like, once again, like I just saw people like doing the windows, and I was like, guys, how do you do this? Can I can I work with you? Right. And so the director of visual at Bendel said, hey, listen, we spend the night in the store tonight and help us with this Christmas display. Oh my god. So I did it. Got into that, and then um, I was on my lunch break, and I met a friend who was well, an old colleague from Mac. He was actually his name is Yadim. Mm -hmm. He's a makeup artist. And he's like, hey, listen, you have to meet Pat McGrath. She's super cool. She travels a lot. Mother! <laughs> and, you know, Pat's going to be, we're doing the shows at Bryant Park. And this is when the shows were, the tents were still at Bryant Park, not at Lincoln Center. Yeah. And so I went to the shows and I sort of basically met her. She, she asked me, was it going to be in Italy, in Milan, two weeks later? Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, sure. I'm, of course I'm going to be there. Yeah. Mind you, I had no passport. No way to get there. No money to get there at the time. But I made it work. I found a way to get it, make it work. And... Um, went to Italy and she took me to Prada and Dolce and all these other shows and and then I met Charlotte Tilbury who's still like a fairy godmother mm -hmm. to me and yeah. she's been so amazing you know and she introduced me to Beyonce at 2010 at Tom Ford's first women's wear show yeah it kind of happened organically and one thing led to another and then uh, and then here I am so guys what I'm gonna do right now I'm using a brow gel but this isn't a conventional brow gel so this is a hack I like to call glue so I like to use lace front glue and a very small amount a super small amount the tiniest you can on the brows and it keeps them in place all day. So it doesn't matter if you swim or if you're doing a video and the, the video is 17 hours long, it works. So that's how the hair is today. Oh yeah. So obviously, I mean, this video is not gonna be all about Beyonce, but we gotta address the elephant <laughs> in the room. What is your favorite look you've ever done on Beyonce? Favorite look I've ever done on Beyonce would happen to be either the video called Mine mm -hmm. with Drake. Yep. Or I love I love when she was pregnant and we did the Grammys. That was fun. Mm -hmm. And so I painted her gold everywhere. Beyonce's got hot sauce in her bag. <laughs> What's the weirdest product in your bag? I think the weirdest product in my bag, babe, I'm using on you at the moment, which is hap happens to be lace front glue. The glue. As a brow gel. My favorite thing about your style is yeah. it's always modern. It's Thank always you, new. Um, it's always fashion but it always makes the client even more stunning thank you very much you know i think the goal with makeup or beauty in my opinion is just to enhance it's like to to magnify or to like cast a bit of like glowing light on a person yes yeah. i feel like right now we live in a society like that a microwave society where everyone starts to look alike everyone starts to mm -hmm have the same visual identity and we see, we need to run away from that, you know? Yeah. That's just my opinion. So now we're gonna go into eyes. So we have a good brow and I think the brow is believable, but I wanna go into eyes and make them a bit more impactful. I'm so ready for you to do my skin. Oh yeah. People on my channel know <laughs> that Mama Tutorials loves a bit of coverage. Oh yeah, no, I got you covered. And a little bit of cake. <laughs> but you know And what? I just, I can't wait because you're, the way you do skin, it's so believable. Yeah. 
Whereas I am <laughs> a fake commercial. <laughs> so I can't wait. No doubt, it's gonna be cool. And also it is layering. I yeah. think layering is key. So I'm gonna start out possibly something sheer and then we're gonna build up the coverage, you know? Yeah. So going back into eyes, babe, we're gonna do, I'm using the palette Huda Beauty. Huda. So I'm gonna use a color, a warm color, close your eyes, and we're gonna dust this all over the lid. So I'm going all over the lid with this. And so I'm starting at the, the base of your lash line, I'm just washing the color up. And I'm gonna stop somewhere around the crease. The fact that you're even touching my face right now, dreams come true. <laughs> I just want people to know that you have always been such an inspiration. Oh, and like I said, the way you approach makeup, it's so modern, but it makes everyone so beautiful. Thank you, mama. I can't wait. Aww. Beautiful. Do you prefer doing eyes, lips, cheeks, skin? Yeah, I'm a huge eye guy. I think eyes are the window to the soul and if you can, uh, I mean, you know, as humans, we have an emotional connection to color. When you have a conversation with someone, it starts in the eyes first. Yeah. So if that connection starts in the eyes, and if this is just the draped, I guess, to the windows of the soul, I want to make that connection last a bit longer Yeah. by using something that is going to be, you know, visually arresting. So a couple of years ago, I was, uh, we did the Met Ball. Mm -hmm. And everyone, this is, what, what year was this? 2017. 2016. Okay. That's recent. Well, she wore the latex with Ricardo his last year. Yes. Oh, I know where this yeah. is going. I know, so yeah. everyone started to, he gave me a graphic picture of a graphic eye. And he's like, hey, listen, can you do this? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, sure. So whatever. But the thing about any kind of fan base, they want to see their people in something that they're comfortable with. Yeah. So a model, you can do any kind of look on. When You can do any kind of look, sometimes on an actress as well. Yeah. But when you have a musician and she has a massive fan base, they want that formula that they're used to seeing yeah. to stay around. The Beehive dragged me to hell that day, right? So I'm at dinner and I started oh to get these, I started to see these um, no. these notifications okay. of like, where is he? We need to kill him. We need to find him. Someone said we need to obliterate him. I'm like, what does oh that even mean? Oh my God. Guys, this is just, it's just eyeshadow. Come on, like seriously. This oh is, my God. You know, so it was one of those things where I didn't, I didn't necessarily look at it as a mistake because at the end of the day, my client was happy. I was happy. I liked the look. But you know what it taught me? Criticism and compliments, they come from the same place. So don't allow criticism or compliments to move the needle emotionally inside ever. So who's some of your favorite celebrities you've worked with? Um, I mean, I love Priyanka Chopra. I think she's beautiful and she kind of reminds she me. She wears makeup so well. I work around really strong women, you know? Yeah. So it's really cool to watch these women just completely fill a room or fill a space with their energy, with their presence, you know, and that you can learn a lot from that. The reason I'm here is because of the models. The reason I'm here is because of Joan and Naomi and uh, Jordan Dunn. All these girls, are, they were in my portfolio before Instagram. These, they're, they're the reason that we even knew who I was, you know? All right, cool. So what I'm doing, I'm going to, this is a cool tip and this is like, this is kind of editorial in a sense. So I'm going to wet my brush and then I'm going to go into the shadow. This is the Bobbi Brown shadow called Serpentine. You know what it does? It makes it more luminous. It makes it more light reflective. And it honestly lasts longer throughout your day. So how much time do you usually get when you're doing a red carpet? 20 minutes? No, uh, not a long time. I'm always so abused. I hate to say it. <laughs> yeah. But it's one of those things where they kind of but expect you to- How do you do that? I'll work really quick. You want to know where I got my speed? Mm -hmm. right, I'll tell you where I got to be fast. So I was working, you know, doing the editorial circuit and I was making no money as a editorial assistant. I mean, you don't make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So I was, I saw a friend of mine. She's like, hey, Sir John, listen, we're all some old Mac employees. We're going to go to this strip club in Queens and start doing makeup on the girls there. Wait, I already love where this is going. And so I'm like, you want me to do what? What happened? So basically I went to a strip club in Queens called Rivi Shout out to Rivieras. Hey girls. I started doing makeup there and it was one of the best experiences of my life. I stayed, I did makeup there for two years, mm -hmm. but it allowed me to sort of chase my dreams and during the daytime for free. And so I got really quick. When you have like all these girls, you got all these Cardi B's waiting for you, basically. You gotta power through. I love that. Yeah. You're full of good stories. <laughs> what has been the most extreme sort of situation where you had to do makeup in? Like, oh was God. it in a, a meat house? Was it in the <laughs> snow? Like, where was it? I have two. And the first was definitely on my, uh, so we were in Vancouver on our way to do a, a concert. This was during the Miss Carter show era. Mm -hmm. Hey, Miss Carter. Hey, Miss Carter, right? And she, her flight got in late mm -hmm. and I had to, I met her at the airport. Okay. And I had to do her makeup in the SUV and it had to be ready by the time we got to the stadium. And so okay. basically I'm leaning over the back, I'm leaning over the passenger seat because I'm next to the driver. <sighs> and she's like, you know, she's her face is leaning to me. I'm leaning over and we're okay. turning and we're like, 
But I gave Speep her up. <laughs> wings, uh, even wings and everything. And the paparazzi was- A wing. A winged eye on both eyes. And so that became like literally the craziest makeup I've had to do ever in life. And then we did it like the makeup on, in the plane on the way up while it's like, you're supposed to be seated. Yeah. And I'm like, I can't do this, Frank. Should I try? <laughs> And I was like, okay, you know what? I'll try. <laughs> For you, I'll try it. Honestly, nowadays, there's nothing I don't think anyone can throw at me that. You're like, I got this. Yeah, we can, we can, we can roll with the punches. If you dip, I dip. We dip. Okay, babe. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a waterproof liner, mm -hmm. and we're lining the bottom. So I'm giving you like a smokier eye, mm -hmm. but I'm never, I'm not using anything with light reflective underneath. So I'm using a mat underneath to really absorb the light. So what I'm doing now, Isa, is I'm taking the liner and I'm gonna bring your eyes out a bit more. Just I'm kind of yes. dragging them because I want to make them even more feline and increase the silhouette. Even when it comes to this look, yeah. is there like a plan? Do you come in like, oh, we can do this and then we can do that? Or is no it plan. just, I pick up a brush and we'll see what happens? I had no plan. You know what my plan was? I had no, I just knew I wanted to do eyes. So I just know right. sometimes about the feature and I don't necessarily know the color or whatever. Like when I was working in my makeup bag, just now opening and like organizing everything, um, you saw this beautiful, silver shadow and as soon as you saw that i'm like this yeah. can work i fanned out when nikki first hit me up on instagram i was like oh wait are you kidding me when you responded i was like <gasps> i was like oh my god so anything big planned for the next couple of months i have a lot of things crazy coming are you up. joining beyonce on her tour um i want to but uh i want to but i have a couple of things that are happening around so i'm just trying to make it work because i want to make it work for her but mm -hmm. i also am going to go into partnership with a south african retailer can't say a name. So would you ever want to create your own products? That's happening right now. Like re literally as we speak, I'm like- Wait, does anyone know that? <laughs> no, not really. Oh, now we do. So I'm basically building the coverage where you need it and where you don't, I'm not gonna use much. So almost like a sheer veil everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then I take a brush, like a, a 224 for Mac or something like that. And I go in and give a bit more in certain areas. And so ladies, when you're holding your brush, don't hold your brush here, right? So you're gonna get no, it's no flexibility. Get in the habit of holding it somewhere in this area right here. And so, and this is where you wanna pay attention to any skincare concerns you may have or a birthmark or, you know, a pregnancy mask. How do you keep her base on when she's dancing and she's mm. doing all of that? You know what, it's duality. Um, so I like to use a cream foundation and a powder foundation. So when you have that sense of duality or using two, yeah. it becomes like a Teflon coated base. You know what though? I don't use moisturizer when she's performing, performing because the moisturizer total. lifts the foundation if she yeah. has to sweat. That's one thing at home you ladies you might want to take in consideration. So what is like the the number one performance foundation that lasts? Ooh, okay, I'm gonna show you right now. This old school RC. RCMA? RCMA is like, it's the only thing, it's the only thing that will last on stage. I'm shook. So this is my favorite thing to do is concealer application. So I take a big brush, a nice shadow brush and turn this way. And we're gonna go directly underneath the eyes with this brush. And if you notice, I'm gonna take, so basically underneath the eyes, what we're gonna do before I put powder there to set, I'm gonna show you a little trick, a taupe. So this is one of my favorite colors to use ever. So I'm gonna use that to blend the eyes. So that's gonna be like, my magic blender. We're gonna take that and we're gonna blend the eye into the concealer. Oh my God, I love it already. And then no one knows they're looking at, you don't see this really, but in photographs you get the most beautiful blown out blend ever. And then do the same thing at the top. A lot of celebrities are on their phone a lot. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that? Are you like, hey, listen up. <laughs> uh, either, okay, that's a good question. Good question, right? So there's a couple things that can happen. A, I'll ask, hey, do you have a headset or a headphone? You know, like, cause we're yeah. in the era, we're in the years of technology where there's wireless everything. Then I'll jump to sides, I'll jump to the other ear, I'll do the other ear, I mean, the other side, you know, but there also comes a time when, you know, your client or my clients, I have a few of mine, mm -hmm. where they want to talk to the publicist, they want to talk to this person, they want to look at this person. And, yeah. And, and then also people are coming in the room. I'm like, guys, you see what's happening here. And you see that she's trying to turn every time you talk. So stand right here. Yeah. So I'll t direct where she needs to look or where they need to stand. Yeah. And if that doesn't happen, if I have no control, I'll put my brushes down and I'll step back. So a good nose job starts in the sockets of the eyes. And I'm just fixing the smoke at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You know who you remind me of? You kind of remind me of Chloe. 
Khloe Kardashian. Yeah. I get that so much. Do you? Do yeah. you? Okay. I'm like. A lot. She's, but she's so fucking cool. Like, she's really a cool girl I'd to be around. I'd love to work with her one day. I do like to go down the center. All right, yeah. All right, cool. So now we're going to find the perfect lip. I'm using my fingers only because it's easier for me than sometimes a brush application is, takes too long. So that's it guys, that is Sir John doing my makeup and just, and just talking about makeup and teaching us so much stuff. If and there's one thing I want people to do, please. go follow this man on Instagram. Oh, thanks, go man. follow his talent because you need you you get a lot of recognition, but you need more. Thank you so much. Way more. Awesome. You Aww. did really, thank really you. well. Thank you. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe <laughs> to my channel. Again, it's been such an honor. And I feel like this is the start of a this very is, this long is my new, friendship. This is my new sister, guys. You're gonna see us walking down West Hollywood streets yes. together. Drug nights, this is my new girlfriend. I, you know why people follow you, babe? Not because of how cute you are and how as people can identify <laughs> you with makeup, but you are you make people feel good about themselves. Aww. So your energy is impactful. Thank yeah, you. Give me a hug. Oh, I thank love you. you. Oh, you too. Okay, let's get drunk. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>